Hey guys, here with another video. Um, over here waiting for this customer to show up here. Um, thought I'd give a small video, short video on a, um, a situation I came across at my previous call. Um, I'm starting to do some more research and get more familiar with um, just different things um, within a, a combustion analysis test. Um, I haven't done much of that previously, you know, in the years past. I just got my Testo um, 310 and I've been using it just about on every on every service call. Um, and I had an issue with, like I said, the unit I was working on at the previous call. It was a 2011, 2011 <clears throat> Lennox single stage gas furnace. Um, I went ahead when I first got out there. I typically, after I do my cleaning and changing of the filters and all that, I'll. Um, adjust my manifold pressure first um, I know that you know you're not supposed to uh, set your manifold pressure outside of the the manufacturer requirements even though I know some guys do that to try to adjust and change some of their uh, maybe their CO values or whatnot coming out of the the stack but um I think you're not supposed to do that. So I just, I set them up for, you know, the required 3.5 inches manifold pressure. And, um, and then I went ahead and let the furnace run for about 10, 15 minutes and did my combustion analysis test on it. Um, this furnace, it's up in the attic, um, plenty of fresh air, um, in the area. And, um, basically... I was running slightly high oxygen. I was running about 13.9 on the O2. And what threw me off was not so much the oxygen itself, but the excess air. My excess air was 175% on a induced draft gas furnace. Um, my CO2 was 3.94. My CO was about 9 parts per million. My stack was around 300 degrees and my undiluted CO was about 28 parts per million um, now I've heard that excess air is really more important with when you're dealing with a natural draft furnace like a you know 60 70 percent uh, rated furnace this is an 80 induced draft um, so I didn't know, and I know excess, you know, excessive excess air causes your combustion efficiency to, to drop, typically. Um, and I think we're, our combustion efficiency was like right at 78.9 or 79%, whatever that was. But I was just a little curious because I know you're, there's no um, air band you can adjust on this. It's in-shot burners, you know, typical single-stage gas furnace. Um, I got my gas pressure set to manufacturer specs. There's no adjustments I can do on air, combustion air rather. And, um, you know, I cleaned the burners out and everything like that just to see if it changed, and it really didn't. Um, I want to see what you guys think about, about coming across a situation when you're coming across um, an induced draft furnace whether it's 80 or 90 and you're and you're running real high excess air like I'm running 175 percent um, and your O2 slightly high as well what can you do to change that or if there's anything you can do I mean it may just be the way the furnace runs I'm not 100 percent sure um, anyways um, I'm just curious let me know what you guys think about that and shoot me a message down below and I'll be, uh, I would be appreciative of uh, any good info on that. And if you guys any know any uh, of any uh, websites or anything like that, or uh, maybe some PDF files or something I can download on combustion analysis, getting in the, you know, the, the nitty gritty. I mean, I know the basics on it. Um, I, I printed out the, let's see, 
the applications guide from from Testo's website. You may not be able to see it closely there. And uh, I've read this thing a few times already, and it gets me some pretty good information on it, on uh, you know required combustion air and different things like that. But it, it didn't really give me a lot of, um, I guess you could say, ways to fix when your levels are outside of your parameters. Like in this case, my XSA or my O2, especially on a, um, I think they, they touch base on like an, on a natural draft, but not on an induced draft in shot burner type thing where you don't you can't adjust your band your air bands for combustion air or anything like that. So, um, yeah, guys, I'm just gonna go ahead and uh, stop it here. But yeah, if you can uh, if you have any good info or any any websites anything like that, I would really appreciate if you guys can uh, pass it forward to me and. Uh, let me know what you guys think. All right.